Here's how this student turns chip bags into homeless sleeping bags. Eradigia O later believes she may have found a partial solution to two of our country's long-standing issues, waste and poverty. The Chip Bag Project is the name of the initiative. Rather than tossing your empty chip bags into the trash and donate them to the 26-year-old student and environmentalist from Detroit, who wants to make them into sleeping bags for the homeless. Chip eaters bring their empty bags of Doritos, Lay's, and other favorites to two places in Detroit. A print business and a clothes store, where a later and her volunteer volunteers pick them up. They slice open the chip bags, lay them flat, and iron them together after sanitizing them with soapy hot water. The insides are lined with padding and liners from vintage jackets. Sewing a sleeping bag takes around four hours, and each one requires 150 to 300 chip bags, depending on whether they are single serve or family size. According to Olata, the outcome is a sleeping bag that is waterproof, lightweight, and easy to carry anywhere. Since its inception in 2020, the Chip Bag Project has collected over 800,000 chip bags and produced 110 sleeping bags as of late December. It would be much easier to raise the funds to purchase new sleeping bags. But that's just half the battle for Olata and her fellow volunteers, who came to the United States from Nigeria a decade ago in search of a better life. Not only do we want to have an impact, but we also want to make a difference. There's also the symbolic value of contributing to the needy recycling bags that would otherwise wind up in the trash. It's a sobering reminder that environmental injustice and poverty are often found together. I believe it is past time to show connections between all of these issues, a later told our Detroit. Com. There's also the symbolic value of contributing to the needy recycling bags that would otherwise wind up in the trash. It's a sobering reminder that environmental injustice and poverty are often found together. I believe it is past time to show connections between all of these issues, Olata told our Detroit. Com.